Oh, what is that smell I'm smelling? Oh my god, it's you. Well, good evening, ladies, lads, and lasses. Welcome in. I was so afraid I wouldn't be able to smell you today, but gosh darn, God has granted me and blessed me with thy presence of thy odors. Uh, so anyway, today we're gonna look at r slash fu Karen, which is a beautiful subreddit with very interesting stories. Do you know something that would deeply upset any Karen? Oh my god. The emotional support team is on the way. Everything Karens hate. Emotions, or, or at least uh, everything except anger. Supportiveness, and deep Demons, everything they hate, all in one go. So keep an eye out for the plush you will probably release in, in the near future, maybe a couple months, something like that. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna replace every piece of my furniture I have in my house with uh, plushies. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Enjoy the video. <laughs> God, that was a good kiss. Man, I am a little charmer, aren't I? When you are done with Netflix, put it back to TU or we will charge you $35 fee. Thank you. Karen. <laughs> Wait, they're literally called Karen? This is so perfect. Did you leave this for your babysitter or something? I am so thirsty for the context of this note. Where was this made? Did you just charge your babysitter $35 because they didn't change the channel back? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is this gonna turn into like the new, you know, uh, TV seat debate? Wait, not, not TV seat, toilet seat. <laughs> okay, toilet seat debate. Like, seat up or seat down? Is that Netflix on or off? $35 fee. Mm -mm -mm. Babysitter. Raw story. Woman arrested after video shows her attacking indigenous group for not wearing bras. <laughs> Look at that. She is really outraged. Oh, yes, indeed. Well, I suppose we all pick our battles in life, but some people are just worse at picking them than than others. <laughs> Did you know that bra in Swedish means good? A B R A bra. Well, that that's a little lesson for for everyone at home and now I can mark this video as educational. Heck yes. Vegans block access for customers wanting milk in four UK cities. Ah, just reach over and grab it. They're probably calcium deficient and easily overpowered. <laughs> Oh my god, it's amazing! Standing up for your cause, believing in what is right, is oftentimes important. That's how change is made in the world and many things, and sometimes you can argue that causes are good or bad or whatever you believe in, but but I don't know about inconveniencing people just going to the grocery store. That's that's probably not the way to like garner supporters. Just gonna put it out there. Two stars. Unfortunately, this establishment is short staffed like everywhere else. New girl working cash register and seven people in line to pay for their items. She called for assistance. Supervisor finally joined her to assist with an issue. There was a sign sitting on a counter that said, I am new. <laughs> Thought that was tacky. How, how can you have new employees? Oh my God. Okay, to be fair, having to deal with like a new employee or a new for example contact person if you're working as a client with a company or something like that it can be annoying because it takes them longer to get up to speed that's perfectly reasonable but you also have to take a step back and realize that you will work with like new people a little now and then because everyone working a cash register can't be a hundred years old come on now what do you where do you think the new employees come from hmm and I think it's also very easy to just turn it around and remember the times where you were new at something and, you know, the impatient people that don't actually make it better. They just make it worse by making people anxious and putting them on the spot and asking really uncomfortable questions constantly. So, so it's that kind of thing that, sure, it can be a slight inconvenience, but also see it from another perspective and you're probably not making it better anyway. So, like, meh, pragmatism, yahoo! Share a Coke with Karen. Uh, no, I, I don't think I will. It's just, oh my god, it's just <laughs> <laughs> this subreddit man. It always, it always makes me, it makes me do little giggles. I'm a very giggly person. Socks, a super soft treat for your feet. That slogan sounds like they have just invented socks for the first time. Karen, I can and I will. Watch me. <laughs> Did you take inspiration from the subreddit when you made this? I am flabbergasted as at the perfectionism essence that this just fits the word Karen. That is so beautiful. Karen moves to the country, complains about country life. To whom it may concern, I am writing this letter to inform you that I have informed the country sheriff. I'm writing to inform you that I have informed Alrightio. Game and park over your excessive shooting. You are ruining the peace and tranquility. We love so much here in the countryside. I also notice upon further inspection of your shop that you are a hunter. You're a hunter. Oh god, can you can you at least Oh, grammar. Oh. All living things deserve to live a happy life, even animals. If the fact that you have trophies of deer and countless guns show your piece of shite human being, there's a special place in hell for murderous a-holes like you. P.S. Clean your 
feast lines too. I'm sick of seeing marijuana growing freely while all you do is sit on your butt eagerly waiting to kill harmless animals. Your neighbor blurb. Was this written by the milk demonstration people after they moved to the countryside? They're, they're surprised that hunting is a thing. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna argue about it like that, you could argue that hunting is probably more ethical than than the milk industry. If you go, if you're gonna be honest about it, <laughs> because hunting has also a big piece of population control. At least here in Sweden, where I come from, you know, hunting season is basically to control populations so the whole ecosystem doesn't go gadonka schmuck, uh, which is actually a good thing. And also, you could argue the animals aren't like suffering or living in, in pen uh, BS conditions and waddling through their own filth. So uh, yeah, I don't know. This is wild. <laughs> this is really wild. <laughs> Although I can't get on board with the idea that, like, the feeling of killing something isn't particularly nice. I don't uh, enjoy it myself. But, like, also, 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 fam. Fam, it's, 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 it's Darwinism and stuff, whatever. Rare sighting of a Karen bird staring at the neighborhood kids playing in their own yard. <coughs> oh, yes, death is approaching, silly kids. How dare they have fun in their own yard. Police! I would like to report these kids for having fun. Hey, at Shopping Center, can you tell us why there is a man that is walking around this nice little area with a giant freak you written on his shirt and listening to some god-awful music? It's probably satanic rock music. And to me, this little cozy spot looks like a really nice place to relax. But how can you do that with this loony walking around smoking on top of that? Get him out! Oh my god, look at that person wearing a shirt. <laughs> this is your epitome of like... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, what an unsafe neighborhood and what a bother. There's some dude with a shirt with a funny profanity on it playing playing music on his phone. <laughs> the world is crumbling. A PC gamer. Velma will no longer call the police on opponents in multiverses. Oh! Oh, oh, multiverses remove the police from Velma's special move. I guess she was a bit too, like, uh, caring to find. It's not even the right wanted sign! Oh my. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the undertones, man. The undertones are just... Oh dear. <laughs> Serenados. Due to continuous misconduct from six guests, Serenados reserves the right to refuse service or disruptive or belligerent Motel 6 guests, and will contact authorities about any guests that refuse to pay for their meal and or beverages. Also, please leave your Karen at home. I like how they're talking about it like it's some kind of child or someone you need to be a guardian for, which, which might be accurate in certain cases, like, dear, some people go off just makes me feel like they should probably be on some kind of leash. Yeesh. K stands for know your rights. A stands for accuse everyone. R for request a manager. E escalate authorities. And N for neglect reason. That is the school of Karen. Welcome to class. Now you all are charged a hundred dollars. Enjoy your, enjoy your karen -esque -ness. One star. I called a few times to ask if they have any availability for today. I was rudely hung up on two times and I called again and was told, please stop calling. I'm trying to run a business and this is disrespectful. What the frick? I'm only calling to make a reservation. All they had to do was take two seconds to listen to my question before going on a rant. Ah, it would be great if the staff was trained on customer service. Rude staff. Before going on a rant, like, you mean this review? Okay, anyway, we got a response. We are sorry, but we explained repeatedly to you that we could barely hear you. We asked you to use another phone, but you kept calling on the same phone. <laughs> that doesn't... <laughs> Man, how stories sound different from different perspectives, don't they? They were so rude and they hung up on me. I just called them on my sparkly potato phone that sounds like a freaking mon lower. Gah, so rude. I went to walk the track yesterday at Blorp Middle School. Nobody was on the track at all. After I walked around twice, the door opened at the school and a bunch of teachers came out with a gym teacher to walk the track. The gym teacher came up to me and told me to respectfully leave because the track is off limits during school hours to the public? Is this true? Why? Why weren't we notified about this as taxpayers? Wait, so, so you're surprised that a, a, a contraption on the schoolyard is primarily for the school during school hours? I would assume they would have informed you if there, if there was like something else about it. That seems to be, you know, the norm, not the exception. <laughs> what? Reminder that the word Karen is a slur only used by raging misogynists. It is not funny. It is not witty. It is a derogatory term used to prescribe negative traits of a group towards an individual that has no meaning when used on people outside of that group. It is a slur and everyone who uses it should be called out for using slurs. There are no exceptions. The subreddit freak you Karen is just I hate women. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, here we go. Heck yeah. Well, first off, Garen can be literally anyone. It has, you know, a very characteristic, you know, look to it when people meme about it. But but in reality, you know, we, we call everyone Karens who, who act like this. Uh, secondly, it's not really about discrimination in the in a way. Most times you see someone being called a Karen, it's when they have a crap load of privilege and they use that privilege above someone else to act inappropriately. For example, when they don't treat babysitters right, when they don't treat fast food workers right, whatever it might be, when they think they're above someone. It's literally calling out like uh, extremely privileged people doing really mean things to people. It's not It's not the kind of like gotcha that you uh, think it is. I don't think you understand the meme. Please study meme culture, dear madam. Mm. It's very deep. Is she saying that all women are whiny, racist, malicious, <laughs> narcissist? Pretty sure that Karen is very specifically targeted. More likely, the redacted OP of the image post as admitting their name IRL is Karen. Uh, makes... makes... <laughs> oh dear god. But it does raise the question, are there male Karens? There definitely are. I know a few. Oh, they're definitely... oh my god, yes. Yes, indeed. Karen isolates and controls daughter's social interactions and brags about it. I didn't affirm my daughter. I removed her from the contagion. Within months, she pulled what I see as cease and desist. She saw the true and left the cult. You mean truth? True? And over a year later, she's thriving more than she ever was. Oh, it's just cut off with like weird cropping, I think. All right, whatever. Uh, when involved in gender craze, here is the link. How do you remove from the contagion? I am dreading her starting school. I removed her from all social media. I purchased monitoring apps to block certain websites from her phone and would receive d mails alerts if certain words were flagged in her searches or texts. I would also not let her spend time with any friends whose parents I didn't trust. That sounds uh, <clears throat> incredibly overbearing. I'm not sure if that's going to be healthy in the long run. Sounds more like the person is going to cut and run from their family. And here's the thing. Social media in the online world has a lot of really toxic, scary rabbit holes that you go down. There are tons of these on TikTok, for example, or on YouTube. It can be anything from, you know, inappropriate adult activities to, for example, political extremism, and it happens everywhere online, or just pseudoscience for that matter. There are tons of harmless rabbit holes online that are really tricky to keep an eye out for, because once you're in them, that's all you see. By the time it's too late, that's all the algorithm shows you. It is surprisingly scary, and it's good as a parent to keep an eye on that for, for your children, because children don't grasp when they're being sucked into a rabbit hole. They don't have the experience to put it into context. But overly controlling your child's life and limiting every aspect of their interactions is, is also probably not the way to go about it. There is a feasible middle ground where you, you know, you, you acknowledge some issues and you help them deal with it, but you don't have to limit their entire life for it. It's that kind of fallacy where you get overprotective and you just lock someone inside, but then they never learn about the world themselves or anything like that, or even figure out themselves for that matter. So, I don't know, it's like, <laughs> extremes are bad <laughs> on both sides is, is, a, is a pretty good uh, conclusion to the subject. Three stars. Good burger. I had a burger snack, which was the size of a regular burger. Husband had a bruh burger. Large! Fries were separate orders. Burger had a sweet sauce on it. Good if you like sweet. Well... Yeah, I guess. Burger was very moist. <laughs> Downside, sat near a group of 12-year-olds volleyball girls. They were very loud. One had an annoying piercing voice. P parents were oblivious. So I only give three stars because <laughs> because there were some annoying kids somewhere. <laughs> Why is that? Oh my god, that's so mean to the restaurants. Like, I personally subjectively didn't like a 12-year-old's voice that was in the same restaurant. So now I'm gonna give the restaurant the bad rating and impact their business. <laughs> Probably not the right reason uh, to give bad reviews for, just gonna be honest. Karen, you just lost yourself a customer. Me. Mm. This is good. Due to staffing shortage, our hours have changed. Any rude customers will result in the doors being locked for the day. Thank you. Damn, they, they are done taking shite. Oh my god, they're just... No, no, we'll just toss you out and lock the entire story if you act up. My god, this is, uh, this is really zero... What do you call it? This this would be like a zero tolerance policy for Karen's. <laughs> Shut the entire store down. <laughs> when you're a true mama's boy to a Karen, it might rub off. Meet male Karen. Oh, what a glorious haircut. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe something I'll go for myself. I haven't cut my hair in a little bit. Should I go for a Karen haircut? And a mustache all in one. I think I could rock that. We are open to the truth. No masks allowed. Handshakes, okay. Hugs, very okay. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, pandemics and stuff. Hugs! are more important. We are the good guys. I promise. I always find it such an interesting concept when people talk about truth. Because it's always, you know, 
my truth. It's, it's never actually a discussion about figuring out what the truth is, because the truth is really tricky, like going on a bit of a side rant here. But something you realize about life in the long run is that everything humans see is so incredibly subjective. We base everything we know, assume, or what we put the most value in, depending on who we are and where we come from and what we have experienced. Like truth, in the way you describe it, is just an opinion. It's just like my experience or my knee-jerk reaction. It's not about seeking out some kind of objective truth or a scientific method or anything that could, you know, remotely be described as seeking out an actual truth. It's just that it's my truth or everyone else is a liar, which is kind of rarely the case in the real world. One star. The food and service were good. However, they are not a concealed carry friendly restaurant, even with a valid permit. Then we sat on the patio. There are too many options in the blorp area for us to want to come back to a place that we were not wanted or allowed to properly protect our family. This is so American. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. It's the first time I've read a restaurant review where someone said, Sorry, you have to be on the patio because we don't, we don't want guns in here. <laughs> oh my god. Gee, this just seems so alien to me. Like, this is something I would expect in like a comedy movie. Oh my god. The new restaurant and bar in Old Bakehouse looks promising. The Charnel House. What? Is this? Is the image. <laughs> Related at all? Okay, anyway. I found them yesterday to question why they had chosen such a macabre- Oh, that's what- oh, Okay, now I get it. Now I get the reference. Alright, okay, okay. I'm- I'm on board now. Comments? Relax, okay? That's you. Relax. I see you typing there angrily. Gee. I found them yesterday to question why they had chosen such a macabre name. They think it's off the wall and outside the box. I think some would disagree. You took the time out of your day to ring them and ask about the name they've chosen to give it? Do you- do you have nothing at all better to do? <laughs> These are like super self-righteous individuals, and honestly I don't even- I don't see it only with Karens, like it's all over the world, sadly. But it's people who see something that annoys them personally, and they have to go seek it out because they think that poking this thing that I personally don't like for whatever hyper-mundane reason is being like a good Samaritan and I'm helping the world to be a better place. When in reality, it's just uh, incredibly annoying. Karen, six reviews, one star. My daughter entered this business and asked the employee if they had a restroom. Employee stated, yes. Upon leaving the establishment, the employee rudely stated, the bathrooms are for paying customers. Perhaps this policy should have been mentioned prior when asking about the restroom. Now because of the rude employee, my family and I will never step foot in this business. You could have had additional sales in the future from a family of four, but because of this rude employee, your establishment will get zero dollars from us. You shall succumb. My great grandchildren will never shop in your store because I couldn't use a bathroom for free. Oh god. It's always making the biggest battles out of the smallest things, isn't it? Listen up, you freaking B words. Stop pouring your cars on uh, parking your cars on my space. I don't give a frick if it's a public parking. You are not welcome in this community. Go back to Shaiti, Mexico. This is America. I was so hoping they would spell America wrong. That would be absolutely hilarious. But also, like, th this, is, this is just incoherent ranting. So you're basically saying that because someone has a different ethnicity than you, you swear at them, you call them slurs, and then you claim that a, a public parking spot belongs to you. Man, I, I cannot imagine why people see you as unlikable. I have no idea. And people say the word carrot is uncalled for. <laughs> How dare you alert me to the possibility that my daughter is being naughtily abused? Why aren't you exploring the chance it could be anything else? Disgusting! One star. I am appalled with 13 sick and I urge everyone to do everything else but to call them when you need help. You're better off googling your symptoms. I took a two minute phone consultation with a doctor to diagnose naughtily abuse of a four month old without exploring any other possibilities. What a heartbreaking thing to hear and cause of massive stress for such a hard accusation. You should be ashamed of yourself. You make me sick. I will never use this company. Get some real professional doctors. Disgusting. I'll give minus stars if I could. Holy, that's your, oh my god. Like sure, yeah, that's, that's horrible news to hear. But this is the response? What if it's true? What if it's actually true? Oh my god. I mean, sure, keep a, keep a skeptical mind until you actually know for sure. But, but if a professional tells you like, Hey, this is probably due to this really serious event. This is a real possibility. I don't know, maybe brushing it off like this isn't the best way to protect your kids. This sounds more like protecting your own emotional response rather than protecting your kids, which is uh, 
probably not the right priority. Staff speaking in native tongue, the horror. One star. My daughter just came home from this restaurant. She ordered a couple of dishes. Very yummy. Except the noodles. Chow my fun. I don't know how to pronounce this. I do apologize. They did not like. She asked the ladies who were working at this date if she can get something different. They did not like it. They said no. My daughter and her boyfriend did not touch the dish. Kinda asked to remove from the bill. They said no. And were talking in native tongue in front of them, which made them feel very uncomfortable. You all know what I mean when someone is talking about you. I find more disturbing. Not only refunding, but the fact that you can speak about them in front of them and make them feel awkward. Never again will they go, and now neither will I. I understand they have some good reviews, but buyers beware. If you don't like a dish, you're unsure, don't order. Guarantee they will gossip about you, not refund, or let you order something else. My rating is one star. Oh dear, well that's that's a bit of a deuce to unpack, isn't it? Well, this is a poo sandwich for the whole family to enjoy. So, so you ordered something that they put together, spent the resources and time on, and you didn't like it, and you expect to... To get it for free? That doesn't sound like a, like a good system, does it? Because you could just say that for everything. Oh, no, I didn't like this, so so I don't have to pay, even though I was the one who decided to order this meal. <laughs> you know, if you don't like something, you just don't order it again, or, or you give it to someone else, you know, around you, whatever might work. This is such a weird thing, expecting free things because you decided you didn't like the thing you ordered. Come on now, be realistic. Also speaking in their native tongue, the horror. Wait until they realize like the norm in most places around the world is to speak like two languages or more. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the horror. Don't just take, be a giver. Before you complain or judge us and act like a Karen, have you volunteered or donated towards our cause? That's a pretty, that's a pretty good turnaround. Oh my god, what have you actually done? Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, see how that turns around and slaps you in the face, you little shite. Karen would like it if our fire trucks could drive quietly and take the long way to city emergencies so she can sleep. Concerned citizen, to whom it may concern whoever is driving the fire truck for practice non-emergency runs through the hours of this, I would kindly ask you to stop. You are disturbing and waking the people of the neighborhoods of Lightmine Road. I personally live on Lightmine Drive, which is directly off Lightmine Road, and to me, more specific, the bottom of Lightmine near the intersection of Lightmine Road. Your station fire truck wakes me every night in the AM hours of the extreme loud siren. You are disturbing the peace and creating sleep disorder. It appears to me as some sort of compulsion or obsession of the driver, since it happens every night around the same time. I have documented this. Leadmine Road is purely residential. If there are alternate routes such as Crane Road to take for emergency assistance, I am bringing this to your attention in order for me to not escalate this to your superiors or take legal action. Please take the long way round for fire emergencies from the fire station. What? <laughs> I don't think this is a legal battle you're gonna win, lady. I'm just gonna put it out there. A Karen's hair design. Well, they definitely have their uh, <laughs> demographic cut out for them, don't they? Oh, they have their demographic cut out because <gasps> that wasn't even an intentional pun. Oh my god, I'm subconsciously even good at my job. This is amazing. Top comments. It is not up to you to tell anyone what they have to put into their bodies. This is not a vaccine, it's gene therapy. It is not safe or effective. It is the multiple injected who are contacting the man-made, patented flu-like illness. They are the ones being hospitalized and suffering from many adverse conditions as a result. Statistically, very false. Unless you want to be sued for breaches of Section 10 of the Human Rights Act, I suggest some research and quick revision of requirements if you want to get and keep staff. I read this. In my Facebook group, this was researched for me. I know more than a doctor because I spent 10 minutes on Google, Googling the exact keywords of what I already had decided is the truth. <laughs> yee yee, science. Karen thinks they own public parking. I will be reporting your misuse of this spot to the management. Guest parking is floor 5 plus above. This spot is to be left open for quick stops, not selfish overnight convenience. What is it with this trend of claiming public parking spots as your own? Gee, that seems astounding. I was like, who are you gonna complain to? <laughs> the Karen starter pack. Marshalls, look at this ring. They're a little bit too tight for the finger. Very big lashes. Extra light and sweet one. Splendor, look at that haircut. Oh my god. Yeah, everything here is very... Susan Braden Caden. Why, why is this? This is just such a such a vibe and not like a good one. Do you want to give your pets a haircut? Well, come down now to Clicky Cuts and get this for your for your hamster or whatever this is. There you go. <laughs> Poor creature. Oh dear God. I'm not, wait, maybe this is not a hamster. Maybe it's a moshvin. What's that called in English? It's a moshvin. A cult of the lamb. Filter by one star. 
I would give this zero stars if I could. What a sick, twisted game to give kids to play. This is why the West is so lost now. There is no value of good and evil being taught to kids. They try to convince everything is evil is good. This game comes off as innocent, but slowly turns a child's thoughts to evil as they grow older. Emotional sport demon, woo, evil, uh, she, she cute and manipulative. Before everyone starts telling me I'm being dramatic, I used to play games that were all about killing when I was a kid. As I grew older, I had so much hate in me. The only thing I could fantasize was how I would kill someone and get away with it. I think there are deeper issues here than uh, video games. Holy crap. Thank God I was forced to stop playing these kind of games before it was too late. What? What? Are you? Holy, what? You guys should be ashamed of yourself for trying to make money at the cost of innocent children. You are truly sick-hearted. Wait, so, so this one-star review, for a very cutesy game, Cult of the Lamb, by the way, very cutesy game, you basically admitted to being a raging psychopath who, who fantasizes about slaughtering innocent people. And the only reason it was stopped is because you didn't play Cult of the Lamb on Steam. I, 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 don't, I don't think video games is like the cause you're looking for here. This is like closeted bisexual overly conservative people who are like, I made the choice to not be gay when I was young. But it's like, but, but it isn't the same for everyone as you, though. Not everyone is a raging psychopath who thinks about murdering people just because they play video games. And not everyone is attracted in the same way as you are. It's people are very different. So it's a, oh my god, ha, eh, eh, stop, stop trying to project it on bullshit. Oh god, here's a little cow, and oh look at that rainbow. Oh <laughs> no, thanks to any rainbow crap. Don't swing that way against God's teaching. Bring for your soul. Well, you will be thrilled to know that Jesus was indeed nailed by a bunch of dudes. Yes. You should not go out with me if you're a felon, didn't graduate high school, moocher, not serious, up having a relationship, jumps from job to job, lies, black, just not my preference. Well, I will ask like, really quickly. You know, you know, it, it, <laughs> this kind of about section, so like, it's the wildest thing I ever see on dating because on one side, it's like, sure, I, I guess you can have re references, but also, like, it comes off so judgmental. And, and racist and just so bad, like, it's still supposed to make you seem likable. You're asking for, for, like, your preference, but keep in mind you're also, you know, promoting yourself with that thing. So, I, I don't understand this. Why do people feel the need to have such toxic bios? Do you expect this to work? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so wild. Dear neighbor, I was recently informed that you are not Mexican, but Indian. I am not racist and wish for all kinds of love to be loved. But I would love to inform you that we citizens of Blor pay taxes to live on this land and you do not. There are Indian reservations held for your people where you are welcome and appreciated. This is not your place. You are not welcome in this neighborhood. But we're not racist. That's, uh, that's very important. We're not, we're not, <laughs> we're not racist. Isn't this just so darn sweet? How it's always like, I'm not a racist, but... Racist statement. Karens are really turning into this, like, you know, kiss your homies goodnight, no homo. It's like that, but for like raging racism. <laughs> it's like, doesn't work. I kindly suggest with the best intentions that you consider moving back in a place where you really belong. Also, I overheard a conversation with my son and his friend and said he thinks your daughter is <laughs> cute. I highly suggest that you tell your daughter not to dress inappropriately, as it's confusing my son and possibly his friends. I do not think it's cute at all. It is a sin for your daughter to dress this way. Yes, indeed. Everyone should be gay in this neighborhood. I don't think that's the route it's taking, but that would be a hilarious twist to this, to this Karen-esque rant. Please tell your daughter if she expresses any interest in my son or any other young man in this neighborhood that interracial dating or marriage is a sin. Remember that she said she's not a... she's not a racist. It's, it's just a... <laughs> You've made so many horribly, like, hundred-year outdated bullshit racist remarks in this round and you started off with I'm not a racist a butt oh my god the awareness is just through the roof and punished by God and highly discouraged I have told the same to my child she will be better off finding a young man in a reservation who is also Indian she will be way happier I would the funniest thing here are they actually Indian as this lady means it as in Native American or are the Indians from India I'm not sure if I'm not sure if she understands the difference though not gonna lie so maybe it's not there might not be a point asking the question. I believe you would be better if you and your family going back to a reservation with your people for the well-being of you and your family. Is that a threat? Sincerely a neighbor. Is that a threat? Holy sh... Mm, my god, lady. Uh, we citizens, I am not a racist and wish for all kinds of love and to be loved, but I'm gonna casually threaten you based on your race, gonna say that I'm gonna control how your children dress, I'm gonna tell you to move out 
of the neighborhood where you bought a house. <laughs> I'm also... I'm also gonna very directly promote the idea that interracial marriage is a sin, but I'm not... <laughs> you know, uh, the words, I am not a racist, are not as powerful as you think they are, lady. Um, just gonna put that out there. Oh, but she's not a racist, then what is she? She doesn't want any sinful Indians near her baby boy, but yeah not racist. I really hope the recipient is from India. That would be just perfect. Yeah, indeed. It'll be perfect. Asking for a friend. Totally. Yeah, you know, you know when you say that, it's totally for a friend. Anyway. I love my seven-year-old son's name, Andrew, but I hate the nickname Andy. When we named him Andrew, we agreed only to use the long version and never the nickname. We moved over the summer, and somehow he became Andy in his new school. I made an appointment with the teacher to discuss the situation. She apologized and said that she would call him Andrew. She said she would make one class announcement. As you can imagine, this has been totally ineffective. All the kids are still calling him Andy. I made another appointment with the teacher, but she was not helpful. She said that Andrew never objects to being called Andy and sometimes even introduces himself to, as Andy. <gasps> to me, this is irrelevant. He is seven years old. I am his mother and I get to decide what people call him. Wh hold what control issues? Hello. She is not willing to correct the other students in the moment when they call him Andy. I would like to take this matter to the principal. My husband feels like I'm overreacting. If we don't get this under control now, he'll be Andy for the rest of his life. The horror. Oh my God. A fate worse than Death. Let's give a big round of applause to black people for keeping racism alive today. Good job, guys. Agreed? Wait, what? What? What is this calm? What? Oh my god, remember? Not racist, but... His group wasn't seated fast enough, and now he's furious. Dwayne Johnson, I'd like to speak to the manager. This would be a movie that I would watch, honestly. Um, that could be pretty entertaining, not gonna lie. The way of the cat eye. Order off the menu, that's why we have one. No camping if campground restaurant is full. Lots of hungry folks to feed. Don't be surprised if you ask to leave. We'll gladly substitute nothing for anything. Ask for water if you want it. Being annoying is prohibited. We don't and won't poach your eggs. Have a fork, you don't need a spoon. Oh, so I'm stirring my coffee with my... Fork? Okay. Put your money on the table edge when you're ready to pounce. Clean your plate. Expect a smart remark if you ask what's good. See, so if I make small talk and ask for a recommendation at a cafe, I... I get... I get talked down to. This is just... Wow. I... <laughs> you wanna go and have a casual coffee in a cafe? Here are 45 rolls. <laughs> Yay. My neighbor has been spraying raid into my bedroom window. You can see her staring through the fence. <laughs> what a great neighbor. Oh my god. What a vibe. Granny Karen and Chick fil A. I am gonna keep that. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Go ahead, call him. Oh, call him. You wanna look dumb because this, this is the war star right now. How dumb you are right now. You sound dumb telling my kids and making too much noise. Noise pollution. You sound. You sound. Noise angry. pollution. Oh my god. You sound like a fool. She's gonna call the police on kids playing? Oh my- I mean, sure, it's a restaurant. I can understand if someone pleasantly asks, like, Hey, they're being a bit rambunctious, they're running around the tables, can you ask them to calm down? Perfectly reasonable. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna call the cops on your frolicking kids? Meh. <laughs> it, it honestly doesn't seem- I, I doubt they were actually that rambunctious. Um, I mean, you can only see the aftermath, sort of, but 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 based on the reactions back and forth, I, I don't think they were, you know, running around the tables throwing forks at everyone. I, I don't think that was the level of rambunctiousness we're talking about here. <laughs> Wife isn't a believer, the great MAGA king. Guys, I need help in how to convince the wife to back off. She is threatening to leave if I invest anymore. We have about 170000 in an account for our son's college. I legitimately know there is a risk to use that money, but I know that if we put it all in, we're going to come up way with so much more. But if you know 100% that it's gonna work, then it's not actually a risk. You, you have to pick one or another here. They, they are, those statements are mutually exclusive. Anyone else getting pushed back like this? And what arguments are you using to make your case? In the end, it's a family finance, so it's my call completely. But then it's not a family finance, then it's your finance. Is it a family budget or not? Like, this is, that's pretty toxic. But it would have been nice to have her voluntarily in compliance with my decision. Wait, okay, so you're angry that your wife is stonewalling you from what I'm assuming is a stupid investment wasting your entire kid's college fund, but then you're also saying that it's completely your call because you're the man of the house. <laughs> First off, having, having no risk and like 
saying that it's risk, but you also know that it's going to be no risk. Those are those are mutually exclusive. And by the way, I think the money's going to get lost if this is the level of argument you're making. And it's also like so misogynistic. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my God, come on. Never seen anything like it. I stopped off at a garage because I felt quite nauseous. I felt the need to be sick, rushed into the toilet. Karen bangs loudly on the door and shouts, Are you freaking drunk? I go to wash my hands and she's screaming in my face that I'm drunk and shouldn't be driving. She runs out to get the manager and Karen then phones the police. I kid you not. I try to explain that I think I have a bug and I'm on my way home from work but she's having absolutely none of it. I walk to my car and she's screaming and lies down in front of my car. The police show up. I just really want to go home at this point and has already had a long day and feeling like shite. So I agree to take the breathing test. Obviously it comes back negative. I don't have a trace of alcohol in my system. Free to go? Karen, again, is having none of this and doesn't believe the police. Starts having a go at the police and the manager now. Long story short, she gets arrested and I got to go home in my nice cozy bed. She was totally unhinged. That is amazing! And especially after being proven wrong, you literally bothered the cops to come all the way out there. They weren't drunk and now you're arguing with the cops? I swear to God, some people just want to argue and be right. Even when, like, you know, the actual truth. You know the post in the beginning about truth? Now we're getting to the actual truth here. Now it's no longer, it's no longer Karen's my truth. It's the actual truth and she doesn't like it. So that it's not valid, but then she gets arrested, <laughs> which is kind of satisfying. So this old hag stole our patio furniture. Oh my God. She <laughs> looks the type, not gonna lie. Since they are already mad, I got an idea. Look at this and look at this. Oh. Oh, I see where you're going. I see. Oh. Oh my God. Who wants to watch Twitter blow up for the next year? I'm, I'm totally down for it. I'm totally down. A woman verbally assaulted my mother in a grocery store parking lot for parking in a handicapped spot because she looked healthy. My mother found her in the store, confronted her in front of a crowd of people, and pulled her blouse down to show her mastectomy scar. That must have been pretty embarrassing for the car, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, what a way to get put on the spot. Well, ladies, lads, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day, because you do deserve it, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah. Oh, yeah.